Are you good? Are we on? Are we on? Hey everybody, this is Morgan Taylor from Gustafer Yellow Gold. Thank you so much for joining me for this very intimate concert. Um, hope you guys are all hanging in there and let's make some music and watch some fun stuff. All right, so Gustafer Yellow Gold, as you may know, he was not born on planet Earth. In fact, he came from somewhere very far away, somewhere very hot and very bright. And so we are gonna sing a few songs about Gustafer Yellow Gold's life that's right, his former life on the sun and his new life on planet Earth in a much cooler world. Okay, so um, we move on to a little story of Gustafer's life. What it was like on the sun. It's called I'm From the Sun. Hey, I'm from the sun. I talk Starting young Mowing golden yards Climbed every rock Earned a living on the sun Washed scalding car I saw the steam rise up Yeah. 
All right, so life on the sun. Gosh, what do you think that would feel like? Pretty hot, I would bet. But there's something you might need to know about the sun is that the main source of food up there on the sun is raisins. A lot of folks don't know this, but um, I'll let you in on the secret. Gustaver doesn't like raisins, which is a big problem for someone who lives on the sun, especially when you work for your dad in his raisin butcher shop. So here is a song about that. This is called The Carver. Another day swept away down the drain the carvery Clocking in to begin another week in this role oh. Every slice is a day off my life in the carvery To hear you whine Your family is counting on you Funny line So, push the clock, wrap them up Seal the box at the carvery Hitch the rack, haul the stack Leave them all out on time I see is that I'm misunderstood. I don't care if we're keeping our numbers in the black. Cause this is gonna cost me a heart and is breaking my back. And my life is gonna slip through the cracks. So, Gustavo Yelligold's life on the sun wasn't all that bad, because he had something very valuable, a good friend. Everybody needs a way to earn money, of course, but if you have some good friendship, that could be even the most valuable thing of all. So this is a song that is about Gustavo Yelligold's best pal. Gustavo Yelligold's best friend, her name is Ellen Lemon. Ellen and Gustafer are desk mates in the same solar poetry class, and Ellen is two years older, she's 11, and she is kind of the voice of reason for Gustafer. When, when things get a little too nuts, she can really calm him down, and she can also help kind of ground him, if being grounded on the sun is a thing. But, a song of friendship, this is called Ellen Lemon.
hour We watch your soul in the shower So the silence for the day So I would like to move on from the sun life now, because there's a lot to tell you about what happened to Gustafur on planet Earth. So you see, Gustafur Yagold did come to the Earth on this very special day, uh, and he came to the Earth in a vehicle which is called a sun pod. Now, how do I explain a sun pod? It's sort of like, I guess you would say, a comet, but with plush leather seating, GPS, Bluetooth. Actually, they call it yellow tooth up there. All completely fueled by a very special type of powerful raisin. So, Gustavor Yellowgold, indeed, he did come shooting out of the sky that day. He splashed down into this Minnesota lake. At the exact moment of impact, a chunk of Gustavor's sun pod knocked that vicious saw-toothed buck trout right out, saving the life, just in time, of this very young eel named Slim. So that is Slim the eel. And now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the fact that Slim the eel loves to keep warm in his new Minnesota home with Gustav Gold by wearing tube socks. That's right. So here is Slim's tube sock wearing theme song. Everybody needs a theme song about how they wear certain tube socks. Here is Slim's. Life on Earth with Slim the Eel. Uh, it can be amazing, right? And odd. But there's a lot of things about Gustavo's life um, that he finds himself very lucky to uh, experience. And so I'm going to sing you a song now about luck. Uh, 
said how sometimes life is full of balances. Sometimes there's bad luck, but then there's good luck. It always balances itself out, hopefully, right? So, this is a song about that. It's called Lucky Day. thinking about different ways to entertain ourselves indoors or at home. So maybe this is something you could try or maybe not. Maybe we'll leave this one up to Gustafer because this one sort of goes along with the saying that I love, which is, um, you know, the one that goes, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, this is the Gustafer Yellow Gold version that when life gives you onions, caramelize. hole in an onion and soon you shall see hold it up to your eye and you'll be crying for something so much better than that drill a hole in another and soon you shall have a pair of onion goggles and you'll be crying for something so much better than Never put 
I'll find that an onion skin is only a rind You'll be crying for something It's so much better than nothing You'll be crying for something You'll be singing once again Based on actual onions So as we are biding our time, hanging out a lot at home, um, hobbies are a really important thing to have, right? Some people like to do puzzles. I love doing puzzles, crossword puzzles especially. Um, uh, what else? I love drawing, as you know. I like to draw things, such as Gust for Yellow Gold. I'm working on some new fun stuff right now. Uh, and But Gust for Yellow Gold has a hobby. He has a hobby that possibly maybe a lot of you are, have this same hobby too, but Gustafer's favorite way to really relax in these times is to smash desserts. Yeah. So uh, there's something about the impact and the melatonin trigger, I'm not sure, but let's let Gustafer tell us all about it in the International Dessert Smashing Anthem. Three. Oh. My very own Fourth of July Look to the sky Showers above me Or winter time So cold and tired I warm my soul And the candle's out You know what I'm wishing I'm wishing about I jump on cake I'm high above I step on pie So warm and lovely It's mine to punt jump on all the desserts in your house. Go ahead. Just kidding. Okay, so we have reached the end of the show. And um, I, I get asked a lot about um, why Gustafer Yellowgold likes to jump on cake. And it turns out that something happened to Gustafer a little um, early. It was just a few years ago. And we finally figured this out. Um, but 
they it's more of like a, a, a reaction. You see, when Gustafur gets around desserts, he can't help himself. And we finally found out what happened. And it involved some flour, a lot of sugar, um, butter, batteries, uh, Intel chips, some WD-40, maybe. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to meet him right now. And this, uh, I do have to wear my headphones on this so I can hear what's going on. Just a little extra. On the, this one has little bonus extra bits on it. So I'm gonna leave you with this last song that explains how Gustafer Yellagold met the one and only Kakenstein. Stein. I just made a robot out of cake, electrified. Little cakey robot, come awake. We'll see spring, we'll smell daisies, we'll see love when he opens his eyes. His cherry eyes. Vanilla over. Sponge cake with gears inside. It's gonna make the world a sweeter place. Can you hear? He is waking. Come to life. Come alive. <laughs> Take a long walk on the beach. I punch like a Tyson, rampage like bison. I only want to party. You think I'm rowdy? To scream and shout me. Check out my cakey baby. Take you on an elevator. I do a better party, party like a Terminator. Off the charity chart, sticky as a roller coaster. Hotter than a twin and toaster. Higher than a 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 higher than a